Okay, um, let's continue this one with this and the activator group. So um, now, now make a copy to here like that and um, uh, come back first come back and uh, let's use this as an anchor point bring it to here okay and maybe we don't need this one here go to 3d we need to decrease the length of this one suspend group select click here and shorten now let's come back here select everything and let's make uh, how many copies do we need one two three control u increment we'll need three copies okay so this is my anchor point this one there you are go in 3d and let's see what we have done okay I think it's nice it's looking nice and now uh, come back here and let's go to uh, this section all right that's good and now um, what we need to do is um, let's take the circle then draw an ellipse Okay, um, just check for this height. This is 250, and the shortest one is 2 meters. Maybe. Or bring this a little bit up like that, make it more round. Okay, I think that's perfect. Let's just check. This is 232. Nice. All right, so um, once you've done that, you will. Um, need to draw the support okay so um, from this point to here let's draw something like that and um, Let's see where is the center. <coughs> okay. Um, let's end this at the here. All right, so draw something like this. Then select this here. Let's bring it down to here. Mm. 
Neymar. And we will need another 700. Alright, so now with this selected, we're going to use uh, transform it into a truss. Here, uh, no, extra design, truss maker, and create truss. Choose this one, use a uh, 25, then hit OK. So go in 3D to see where is our truss. Here it is. Now bring it back. Now let's come back here to see what we have done. Okay, and move this to here. Now, let's look at it from here. Is it exactly at the X? I think this is the X. There you are. Come back here a bit to see what we have done. Now select this one, control D, just bring it a little bit like this. Okay, so um, for this support, <laughs> convert it into a morph.
and then let's make copies select it first and then let's change the texture into our texture here Then come back here. There you are. So um, let's come back here, select. Move it a bit like this. Okay, now let's drag multiple copies. Now, control U. Uh, try four for this now take it from this point and put it to this point nice nice what's left is the this year Okay, then let's select this here. Wait. Select our support and now suspend group to select this here then make a copy from this point and bring it down to this point here now let's go into the 3d now select this one that's good. Then we'll need um, this here. But how can we bring it there? Okay. I will take it from that point to here and now I just need to bring it inside like that okay and uh, here we still have this uh, antenna just select this here We can delete, select this one, and let's decrease. The height. Delete. select and let's decrease the height
like this. No, everything is okay. There should be more support in the reality. Okay, so now let's come back here. Then now we're going to uh, work with our circle. Let me decrease this just a little bit like that. And now I need a cutting line like this. So I select this with our oval and I make a copy here. That's too far. Like this. And um, what I'm going to do is make a copy of this and this is all right so um, here I have to uh, 208 so here 198 to get 10 exactly okay then I will make a copy of this make a copy and let me do another one bring it back and one centimeter 200 186 and uh, this one will be 185 to get that small uh, thickness okay and the next one I just go with this uh, this year I make a copy just here I make another one um, 182 so uh, this one will be 181, 181, okay, then this one outside, I will need to bring it to here and 181, 180, 180, okay, so uh, this will be my glass and I will need a final one is here I make a copy again bring it back there and now enter one centimeter one seven six there you are okay so this will be my I will fill this with a morph this is the main structure okay this here will be the outer structure. Then um, this here will be the inner structure. Okay. And uh, this one here, I fill it with, with the a fill tool. Now, now um, I need this uh, this one and this one to be in 3d there you are okay so um let me give thickness to this one one centimeter okay and this year
um, then this will be 10 and the same for this one here give it 10 now uh, let's come back here we need to combine them now okay so let's start with uh, this one okay so we need to have the center Okay, put something at the center. Now we need the, the center of this one also. I mark the center and the same for this one. That is the center of those. Now I can select the morph, move it to here okay and now select this morph move it to here as well okay and now come back to 3d so in the 3D, we're going to have uh, something like that. Now, we can bring this one. to five so as to be in the middle when you've done all that let's change the texture to something black then merge them union then let's select and soften choose this one here Now we have soft edge, okay. Now, now let's go to the floor plan and see where is that this one here. Okay, and let's show it in, in the 2D here, all stories, on all stories and like this, I will be able, I should be able to see it somewhere here. Here it is. Okay. And so now, move it to our zero here. Okay, so that's all for this part. We'll see on the next part.